hospice. Yes. Leslie was being treated here years ago. He'd come here thinking it was familiar and safe. You know where we are? Just ahead is the hospice my brother runs. He'll take us in. That didn't answer my question. I honestly don't know. For all I know, I'm losing my mind and you're just a delusion. But I'd like to think I still have a shred of dignity and an obligation to protect my patient. As an officer of the law, you should too. I hope his brother's not a jerk too. What's going on guys? I'm Jake the Offensive Gamer and this is The Don't Evil Within uh, part... F fuck, I think part four? If I'm not mistaken? Let's check. <laughs> Holy shit, okay! What? Alright then, that was... okay. Uh, we're still gonna go in here though because, um, I mean, there might be good things in here too. Might not all be bad things. What's in here? See, matches. Those are good things. You wanna have matches. No, get that- get the fuck off. Thank you. Um, I, so I was reading a little bit about this game, and I heard that this is actually a pretty poor PC port, which is obviously, uh, what I'm playing right now. Um, and I'm no- I, like, I don't know. I didn't have much of a problem with it being capped at, uh, 30 frames per second. I think it's kind of cheap, but... That wasn't a huge deal to me. How, how much ammo do I have? Okay. Uh, that wasn't a huge deal in my opinion. Um, the problem I have is the fact that it lags. Like, even though it's it's capped at 30 frames per second, which, you know, my PC can run, you know, this stuff on the specs that it is. I mean, that, it's just, that's just ridiculous. Anyway, Villager's Notes. They got Norman. His cries for help just cut off. I can hear screaming every night. If I don't stay hidden, I know I'll be next. So I guess there was some sort of hunt in this, uh, little village here. Ooh. You know what, actually? I could probably use that. Do I... Yeah, I have those things. By the way, I want to apologize for the last part. Um, it was not very entertaining at all, and I recognize that. Um, I'd say about halfway through, I just got really fucking frustrated with it, and just, like, stopped even doing commentary. I was so focused on, um, just beating the fucking thing. Uh, at the cost of being, you know, entertaining to you guys, which is the primary concern. Um, I cut out a lot. A lot. I, I was going at that for, like, a fucking hour. And, uh, I cut out probably about 30, 45 minutes of the footage. Um, and by the end of it, I just opted to do commentary over, um, pre-recorded footage because of that fact. And, um, so yeah, I, I am sorry, and if there's any... We will in a second. Don't Calm down, asshole. Jesus. But, yeah, as I was saying... Well, let's go over here. I hear some music. I think it's coming from there. Uh, I was gonna say something. Shit. Can't remember. Uh, journal, journal of Sebastian Castellanos, February 2005. Myra was, was almost killed this afternoon, shot by a suspect we were pursuing. Thank God I was there. She's, uh, she's going to be okay. But seeing her bleeding like that, thinking I was going to lose her without telling her how I really feel, was unbearable. I think she feels the same way. There's something undeniable between us. It's against the code of conduct, but I have to let her know how I feel about her. I know, or I hope I'm not setting myself up for an embarrassment. You probably are. Let's be honest here. Ah, save point. Fantastic. I knew it. You know, I'm really starting to question what reality is in this game because I really don't find either scenario to be very 100% real. Um, this one obviously is full of shit, but the other one on top of it, like, that whole thing with his leg and him sprinting after being cut with a chainsaw, it's like, after... It's been a while since your last visit. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Um, after getting cut by the chainsaw, he was just sprinting after he got up, uh, through the elevator. That really just rings in my head, and it makes me question as to what's going on right now. I'm not saying this is like a dream sequence, but there's something sketchy. 
Uh, missing patient found. Caretaker worried sick. Psychiatric patient missing since last Tuesday found hiding in photography studio. Physician Val uh, Valerio Jimenez says God's will. You sure about that? All right, don't physicians you, or like in doctors and people like that always complain that everybody always thinks God and not them? Yeah, whatever. All right, this is uh, Valerio Jimenez, which is apparently the guy that we're with. That's his brother, um, owner of the Elk River Hospice, last seen driving into the city. Uh, Elk River, isn't that that one city that the serial killings were taking place in? Maybe I'm mistaken in that. We must be going. I got, I got it. We got to get going. I get it. Oh my god, the lag is really bad right now. Um, jeez. This is, Im like, embarrassingly bad. I don't understand why it's lagging so much, honestly. Um, I I'm gonna try to bear through it, but this is really unacceptable. <laughs> like, uh, no. Th this is not a performance problem on my end. I've adjusted the settings multiple times to accommodate this shit. And, uh, yeah, no, I mean, it doesn't change. The frame rate lags all the, uh, just the same no matter what. So this is a an optimization problem, no question in my mind. I'm gonna sneak in here just because I'm, I'm a little worried. Now you always want to be cautious when going into this shit. And nothing says cautious like carrying a fucking hatchet. I don't what need that. Happened here? Your mother's cunt. That was just that was inappropriate. Jeez. Yeah, so there's some severe lag here. I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. Um hopefully it's just like this section of the game is is this bad, but if it's just in general we're going to have some issues. I'm uh, I, you know, I don't, I, I was about to say I, I'll consider buying it for the PS4, but I don't want to reward a company for a bad PC optimization. Like, that's, no, I'm not going to do that. So, disregard what I was about to say there. Ugh. This is bad. Yeah, and it's published by Bethesda on top of it, which I recognize publish and develop are two completely different things. But you would think Bethesda would be like, no, hold on a sec. You, uh, you gotta optimize this right, come on. If our fucking name's gonna be on it, you're optimizing this shit right. Because, you know, that's something Bethesda's always done great, is, you know, optimizing their games for PC incredibly well, you know. Uh, the Fallout titles, fucking Elder Scrolls, um... I mean, I, I never actually played it, but I heard Dishonored was a great PC port. Fucking, uh, Wolfenstein The New Order was fantastic as a PC port. I had almost no, actually, I had no performance issues in that game. That game looked gorgeous. So, yeah. Mm-mm. This one is weird. Right, I'm gonna stop bitching about the fucking frame rate if, yeah, I'm sure it's in, uh, I'm sure it's in there. But, uh, I just wanna look around here, because I know I could hear the guy downstairs, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna confront that just yet. Because uh, I think this is the uh, the house that that uh, Jimenez, whoever the fuck the brothers, whoa. Okay, there's a guy in here. Well, I can pro I have a hatchet. I could kill him. I could solve this problem pretty quickly. Let me know when you've taken care of. Took care of it. Hey, got another hatchet. Perfect. All right. Well, that that problem solved itself. All right, brother man. I ain't gonna. Where are you? Okay, he's behind there. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna confront him just yet. He sounds sinister. I I I definitely don't want to confront him yet. He sounds creepy and scary, and he seems to be cutting somebody open right now. Fuck that shit. Alright, dude. What's your deal? 
Doc, no, don't. Valerio, it's me. The good doctor is here. This is my brother, Valerio. Let's say his original doctor. Peel away. Yes, expose everything. Hey, what are you doing? Fuck that. What the fucking shit? No. Eat my dick, man. Let's set him on fire. Set him on fire. Bitch. That's how we do things. Give me that hatchet. All right, well, that was weird. How could he have done that to Valerio? Well, pretty much the same way he does it to everyone, I'd imagine. I could be wrong. Couldn't be Ruvik. Ruvik. Now, that is a name that sounds intriguing. Okay, so I guess there's some keys in the guy's chest that I need to cut out. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. The controls are kind of funky on this, but let's go ahead and... Whatever. Okay. Settle down there. That was unnecessary. Give me my fucking hatchet. Actually, let me reload first. Thank you. Alright, now give me my fucking hatchet. I want this hatchet forever and always. This is my hatchet. It's a flimsy hatchet because it breaks after just one use, but it's a hatchet. Oh, shut up, you fucking whiny bitch. <laughs> Yes. Jeez, I am irritable today. Wow. That was just hostile. She's she's helped me. She saved my life earlier. He, sorry. It's a, it's a male. It sounds like a woman kind of. Ooh, this is a place. I wonder what's in this place. I saw something move. Did you? Oh, big boy. Really big boy. Big boy go down. I assume the fatter they are, the harder they are to kill. Maybe that's flawed logic, we but... Must be going. Seems like a lot of these guys are corn-fed. A lot of country folk down here. Well, a uh, map fragment, thank you. Ooh, no. There we go. All right, solve that little problem. <laughs> I was like, fuck that shit. I'm not open that. There's nothing in there valuable enough to die over. I am not going to die. And and I don't even get the items in that case. I'm just fucked. Alright, I should probably go ahead and save. I've done quite a few things. And judging from how this game is performing right now, it could crash at any second. Hello? You should find this useful. Why can't I save? Or sign in, whatever. Ma'am. 
Ma'am, I am asking you a question. This way, please. All right. I'm watching you. I'm really watching you. Okay, that's enough. Jesus. Where are you taking me? You don't talk much. Yep. She's, uh... One of few words. I suppose. I'm gonna go in here. See if there's anything useful in this area. You never know, there could be. But this... No, there is a map. Oh, this is for the fragments. Um... This map is uh, okay. That didn't didn't get a chance to read that. Okay, well, fuck it. It's not like it mattered. Probably wasn't important. Just explained why I was collecting those map fragments. Oh, so I get to use the key here? Okay, so there's a connection. Well, hold on. Sorry. Um, so there's a connection between this world and the other one, then. More than just, like, the exterior of upgrades and saving. I get it. I get it. I'm not a fucking baby. I can see you have keys. Jesus. But, yeah, so there's a connection between, like, you can carry over, like, items between worlds. So that's interesting. All right, Jesus Christ. I got it. Shiny metal object. I'm not gonna go gaga over that shit. That key will allow you to open this door. Excuse me. This... There are many doors. Just any of them? The contents are yours. Please, come back whenever you need to. I'm gonna pick this one. I want that one. What's that do? That's a shock bolt. A warhead for the agony crossbow, which will immobilize enemies who come into contact with it via an electric shock. It can be placed on things like floors and walls and even enemies. I think that they're kind of trying to force the agony crossbow on me. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's just like... I don't know, I, pr I prefer conventional guns. That's just me. I guess I can't go that way. Can I save now? Actually, you know what, I'm not gonna save yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get a few upgrades. Upgrade this bitch. 2,900, so that should help me with a few things. Okay, um, let's see. What should I use it for? Let's go with handgun ammunition. Yeah, let's go with that one. And, uh... Should I go with matches? That was a weird noise I just made, but... Anyway. Oh yeah, I could upgrade accuracy. That could actually be pretty helpful. Could also do critical hit. Shit, this is tough. This is a tough one. I'm not sure which one I want to go with. Eh, fuck it. Let's go with critical hit. Next time I'll do accuracy. Yeah, next time I'll do accuracy. This time, critical hit. But yeah, I mean, I find that that pistol could be incredibly useful if I make it that way. What the fuck is this shit? Sup, dude? That was, uh, kinda uncalled for, don't you think? Okay... Mm. You have fun with that. I'm gonna go this way. I'm probably gonna have to go back there. Just watch. Just watch. That's how it's gonna go. You're like, oh, you thought you could go away from this area. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Oh, thank you. That was nice. Help! Help! What's wrong with this kid? I don't know. So, I don't see the guy. No, there he is. There he is. Yep, there he is. You know, there's a shack over there. Yeah, there's probably nothing that important. It's probably just, like, bullets and items and shit like that. You know what, actually? I n I upgraded my ammunition so I can get more bullets now. It would be stupid of me not to. 
I'm gonna go ahead and kill that one guy. Test out my critical hit. Where's that motherfucker? There you are, you little bitch. Hee 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 hee. Died. I'll leave it to you. Yeah, of course he will. Pussy. Oh, that really paid off. Now I have... I'm gonna go back upstairs, get the ammo that I this had for the pistol, and I got two shotgun shells out of it. That was lucrative. Can I go in here? So we got some uh, bolts. And that's about it for here. So I'm gonna go back upstairs, I'm gonna get those last few bullets, and then we will progress uh, in the chapter.